Yes. <laughs> I'm just looking at this uh, political corruption convention of the United Nations. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, adoption of a new convention will be a remarkable achievement, but let us be clear, it is only a beginning. Pooh. <laughs> I thought that in 2016 the United Nations actually did uh, pass a convention against corruption. <laughs> now, I just wanted to know, for all of those in office that thought that the fraud of the actual office of <laughs> the presidency of the United States would not be an indicator... <laughs> of actual corruption in the United States. <laughs> exactly how did you think that? <laughs> um, because the United Nations Convention Against Corruption would make it a serious crime to have to have the President of the United States <laughs> take care okay, to faithfully execute all the laws of this nation. <laughs> now the whole thought of the impropriety of any judge or court commissioner actually meeting with a woman that's going through the <laughs> distress of a disillusion of marriage that happens to be attractive. I married her. I had five sons with her. <coughs> if I found out that you were alone with her at any time, I would say there's serious concerns of impropriety and quite possibly sexual liaison. Now, since you didn't give me notice of the settlement conference hearing and that was to take place in the judges' chambers, I just want to know... Did my spouse at any time meet with any of the officers of the court, male or female, without somebody else being present? Pooch. Now, uh, taking note with appreciation of multilateral instruments to prevent and combat corruption, inter alia. The Inter-American Convention and Corruption adopted by the... Organization of America states on the 29th of July, uh, 29th of March of 1996. Yes, <laughs> the Convention on the Fight Against Corruption involving officials of the European communities or officials of the member states. <laughs> Does anybody remember what an official is? <laughs> Let's say you're an oath of office. You're a public official. <laughs> you remember the independent agencies? You haven't been spending some time with uh, someone of the opposite sex without their spouse knowing about it. <laughs> there wouldn't be any sexual impropriety. <clears throat> Now, I would think that you're violating the conventions of uh, international child abduction. Yes. You're violating the International Hague Conventions of Adoption of Intercountry Children. Yes. <laughs> you're violating the Hague, no, the United Nations Convention of, uh... I think that I'm suing every public official means any person holding a legislative, executive, administrative or judicial office of a state party. <laughs> and that doesn't mean state within the United States, it means the United States of America. <laughs> now, whether appointed or elected, both oaths of office that had their oaths subscribed, <laughs> whether permanent or temporary, whether paid or unpaid, irrespective of that person's seniority, <laughs> any other person who performs a public function, court commissioner. Ouch! public agency or public enterprise or provides a public service police department Ouch. now I had mentioned that we might need to bring the United Nations in on this because I think that when you decided that you would continue with your fraud uh, on the court yes quite possibly your impropriety of women that are going through a divorce <clears throat> Uh, there could be a considerable amount of corruption in the United States that needs to be tried in the United Nations. Now, for every oath of office, every elected oath of office, every judge and justice, <laughs> all of those that are uh, oaths, badges, and attorneys, <laughs> every elected sheriff in every county of the United States, <laughs> do you know of some corruption, <laughs> some fraud, <laughs> some fraud on the office of the actual presidency of the United States, where <laughs> I, as an American citizen, because of that United Nations marriage certificate, <laughs> could actually have you sued in the United Nations. <laughs> now, each state party, that being the United States, shall, in accordance with the fundamental principles of its legal system, <laughs> develop and implement and maintain effective, coordinated, 
anti-corruption policies <laughs> that promote the participation of society and reflect the principles of the rule of law, <laughs> the proper management of public affairs, <clears throat> and uh, public property, integrity, trans transparency, and accountability. Oh, <clears throat> The United States shall, in accordance with the fundamental principles of its legal system. <laughs> now, I just gave you some examples of exactly how the legal system in Washington State. But for some stupid fucking reason, you thought that you didn't have to notify me of court hearings. <laughs> and you didn't have to make sure that I would be present any time my wife was alone with any elected or appointed out the fucking office. I think we have a corruption problem. Oh, I think I am going to sue you in the United Nations. And for every judge, ooch, every commissioner, oh, every elected and appointed oath that spent some quality time with uh, someone other than your spouse while in chambers, I can appreciate that every once in a while your wife did have to fuck you in your chambers. Fuck us! <laughs>